Hi, my name is Anthony, and I'm a data scientist at the Pulse Lab in Jakarta. Yeah, so I guess I don't have the typical uh, algorithmic or undergrad maths background. I studied political science for my undergraduate degree, and then I did a law degree, and the way I ended up getting into data science was I worked on a political campaign in America, and my skills were in community and organizing and I guess what you'd call domain expertise or domain knowledge. And the team around me were all amazing statisticians and mathematicians and data scientists. And so I got an informal education in statistics, software development and Bayesian reasoning all in the space of a six month political campaign. And after that, I guess I realized the incredible change that data science can make in people's lives and I've been doing it as a professional data scientist ever since. I never spent a single day working as a lawyer. Yeah, so I think the first thing I ever took was Andrew Ng's uh, data science course on Coursera and then I took Sebastian Thrun's uh, Udacity course on machine vision and since then just a lot of reason a lot of reading on statistics and machine learning um, stuff I really like is Andrew Gelman's book uh, and Wes McKinney's uh, pandas for Python I think the most challenging thing I faced in learning data science is talking to a client really understanding the nature and scope of their problem and then explaining to them the kind of solutions that data science can provide. Which I guess is to say that there's a lot of excitement about applying machine learning and sometimes not that much understanding as to how it can be used and what sort of data sets we need. So getting that across to clients is probably amongst the hardest jobs. And I guess the second part of that is we need to do a good job once we've built our models of explaining how they work and why they work and generating trust in them. So I guess those are the two toughest bits about the data science pipeline. Sure, so the Pulse Lab specializes in big data for humanitarian response. Some of the most satisfying stuff we've done is around disaster risk preparedness and preparation and particularly uh, we work closely with OCHA, the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, on a project called the Human Data Exchange. Uh, Human Data Exchange allows different UN agencies to share their humanitarian data, collaborate, visualize it, all on a platform that's easy enough for regular analysts who aren't data scientists to use. Um, we've done some great work with HazeGazer. So HazeGazer uses social media data and photos in order to calculate the level of haze in the atmosphere and then provides um, Indonesian government organizations with a live view of haze across Indonesia. I think definitely in a producer stage, like I work with some of the best data scientists around and most of them are Indonesian born, Indonesian educated and work in a data science lab in Indonesia. I think the Pulse Lab is a really good example of where there are only three Pulse Labs in the world. There's one in New York, there's one in Kampala, Uganda and there's one here in Jakarta because the government of Indonesia have made data science education a priority. I used to love doing hackathons like GovHack. I think they're a great way to meet some cool people who are interested in the same kind of problems that you are and a way to test out your skills or maybe test out some things that you don't get to use in your day job in a really fun, high pressure environment. So yeah, I think hackathons are great. I think data science education like Algorithma is great. Uh, I did a data science boot camp many years ago that I think helped me a lot. Um, and I think Part of being a good data scientist is an attitude of curiosity. So reading all the things all the time, keeping up to date with journals and articles is a really good way to keep adding some strings to your data science bow. I think it's great. I was so impressed with the quality of all the algorithm students' uh, final class presentations. I think 
clearly they've mastered some really important data science skills and they've mastered some of the most important thing, which is presenting it well for a lay audience. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm, thanks for inviting me.